No, stop, stop. I don't like it. I hate scary movies. She really dropped him. No fetus, that's not what I expected. Have you ever wondered how witches and vampires deliver their babies? Me neither, <laughs> but it's spooky season. So today we're going to learn from the Adams family to Twilight and everything in between. Let's jump in to some spooky births. As a preface, I have seen exactly none of these videos because I fall asleep every time I try to watch a movie. This is a clip from The Quiet Place and this is something that you have been asking me to react to for ages, so here we go. As I understand it, the general premise of this movie is that something's after them and any noise they make will get them killed. I presume we're looking at her about to have to have a completely silent labor and delivery. She's contracting. I tell you what, if I was living in, in this movie, I would not be getting pregnant. Mm -mm, no, no, sir. We're not doing that because I will not be silently laboring and delivering something that generally comes out screaming with one of those things after me. I will not be doing that. Bloody show doesn't usually look like that. I don't know why she's bleeding so much and I do not like it. <gasps> no, stop, stop. I don't like it. So they had a well orchestrated plan to make lots of distracting noises at the moment that she was crowning. Good plan. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Where is she? She was in the bathtub. Did one of the monsters get her or does he just think that? I hate scary movies. I am not gonna sleep tonight. I don't know why I agreed to do this. Karen, if you're watching, I will never forgive you for putting this together. Did she have the baby? Where's the baby? I still don't know if she had the baby. This is the only clip I was given. I'm assuming there was a baby because it, it said that it was the birth of the baby, but it just left me with so many questions. Is the baby alive? How did how did they keep the baby quiet to make sure that the monster doesn't eat the baby or bring attention to them? I, I looked for the rest of it, but I couldn't, I can't find another clip. So we're just gonna have to move on. The next one is Morticia Adams giving birth. And I happen to know that the name of the baby she's about to deliver is Pubert. And I know that because uh, I Googled, I Googled the video. Its name is Pubert. I don't know why you would name it that, even if I was a witch. I don't think that's the name I would go with. Wednesday's good. Its older sister has a has a great name, but not this baby. This baby is Pubert. Gomez. Caramia. Marvelous news. I'm going to have a baby. <laughs> right now. Nurse, how close are the contractions? Every 15 seconds, doctor. Ow! Apparently witches have very, very rapid contractions. In a human, we would like contractions to be every, like, three to five minutes or so during labor. But every 15 seconds? Good for you. Efficient. Are you in unbearable pain? Is it inhuman? My darling, is it torture? We. Oui. Oh. And then mommy kissed daddy, and the angel told the stork, and the stork flew down from heaven and left a diamond under a leaf in the cabbage patch and the diamond turned into a baby. That kid needs someone to 
give her a little bit more transparency in the discussion of how babies are made and where they come from. Our parents are having a baby too. They had sex. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love that so much. And also, oh my God, it just uh, it just occurred to me that my children could, I need to go inform my children that they are, are not to be the arbiters of information. And if people's parents aren't teaching them correctly, then they let them deal with that. And, and don't be the one that's teaching the friends, at least not at the age we're at now. Forceps. 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 Mrs. Adams, would you like anesthesia? No, thank you. But do ask the children. Cara mia. Mon cher. Mrs. Adams, the baby? Pardon. It's a boy. It's a girl. Go ahead! What news? Father, what is it? It's an Adams. That was a good break from the terrifying things I just watched before. Pugsley. The baby weighs 10 pounds. The cannonball weighs 20 pounds. Which will hit the stone walkway first? I'm still on fractions. Which do you think? The cannonball? Very good. But which one will bounce? The baby? There's only one way to find out. Ready? Nope, nope, Wednesday, let's, let's not do that. I don't think this is a good idea. One, two, three. <laughs> What a glorious evening. Rain. She really dropped him! Caramia! Oh dear. Oh dear! Oh dear. The baby, it's falling off of the roof. How, how did that happen? My goodness. Just those crazy kids. Children, why do you hate the baby? We don't hate him. We just want to play with him. Especially his head. Children, do you think we love the baby more than we love you? Yes. Do you think that when a new baby arrives, one of the other children has to die? Yes. <laughs> that's sibling rivalry. Wow, that's not the kind of uh, sibling rivalry I want to see in humans. Thank, thank goodness. The next set of clips is from a show called Midnight Mass. I've not honestly heard of it until right this second. I have a little note here that says character Aaron Green is about 20 weeks pregnant. The context of the show is that spooky or supernatural things are happening on a tiny fishing island thanks to a hip young new Catholic priest. Okay, here we go. Hi there. And that's, that's the, the spine, and it's perfect. And that's the little foot. I like how the heartbeat is just going and going through the entire ultrasound. Hi there. And that's, that's the, the spine, and it's perfect. You, you can't actually do that. You can't just have the heartbeat like going in the background through the whole ultrasound. It's only a small portion of the ultrasound and you have to be right over the fetal cardiac activity and listening to it in one spot. Exactly where I want it to be at 20 weeks. Have you had any spotting recently? No. There's a little bleed in there. Oh God. I'm not worried about it. It's very small. We'll keep an eye on it. I didn't see that on the ultrasound. Quite difficult to see most of the time, but I would like to see if I can tell what she's looking at. Nope, that's a normal ultrasound. I rewatched it. It's normal. I mean, at least from what they show on the screen. Jesus. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't get too close. I read this thing somewhere about cats and dog, pregnant people. The reason is because of an infection that you can get called toxoplasmosis, which is a torch infection. Torch infections are basically any kind of illness that can be transmitted through the placenta and is known to have detrimental effects on a developing fetus. Toxoplasmosis can be transmitted in cat feces, and that's why we ask that if you are pregnant, that you don't change the cat litter box. Cat litter is not the only way that you can get it. It's just something that we can modify, right? So you have modifiable risk factor of if someone else can change the cat litter, just let them because it's not 
zero risk, so it's better to just let someone else do it. Toxo is something. There's this parasite and cat shit that can be bad for pregnant women. Toxoplasmosis, it's um, kind of a myth, really. More likely to get it from gardening. Gardening is definitely a way that you can get toxoplasmosis. However, it's not really a myth, and also the gardening is still likely related to cat feces. Cats which are outside tend to do their business in garden soil. All right, well, my cats better safe, you know? What happened? I mean, this really looks like every stray from the upwards. Yeah, they're just gonna burn them all. Are they dead cats? Well, I, I just, I literally just realized that they weren't talking about a cat on the beach. There are dead cats all over the beach. That is weird. Stay away from the cats, all right? I don't want you catching toxo cat moses or whatever. I'm gonna start calling it toxo cat moses. I love that. The doctor at the ultrasound earlier said that she could see a little area of bleeding, which is probably something called a subchorionic hemorrhage or subchorionic hematoma, just where some blood collects behind the placenta. And it can be anything from not worrisome at all to absolutely detrimental. It does increase the risk of pregnancy loss and also of preterm delivery. So there are some things that come along with it that are, can be worrisome. Everything's just fine. Oh, thank you, God. Just a little spotting. Mm. That's why I'm here. You did the right thing. Here, listen. Hi, baby. See, baby's just fine. What she's using is a fetoscope. It's a special stethoscope that's created to be able to identify a fetal heartbeat. You can't usually hear a fetal heartbeat with a normal stethoscope. Now we use ultrasound or Doppler to listen to a baby's heartbeat, but they're occasionally still around the hospital. How are you feeling overall? Overwhelmed, um, but otherwise, you know, mostly excited. I'm excited to get huge and slip into that elastic waistband. She's having trouble finding the heartbeat. What she's using there is a fetal Doppler and it picks up a heartbeat. It's concerning with how easily they found it with a fetoscope that now she can't find it. Everything good? You know, maybe we will take a look today after all. Any difference in the last 24 to 48 hours? Uh, I don't think so. I think I want to know the sex. You can go ahead and tell me. You can tell me. Just... This is too real. This, this is a very good depiction. Have you had any cramps? Bleeding? No. It feels like she's really delaying telling her that something's wrong. That's usually not what we're doing. It, it sometimes can be difficult to tell what you're looking at, especially if there's no movement or the fluid is low. That delay between thinking something's wrong and having to confirm it is often to avoid saying there's no heartbeat and then figuring out that there actually is. It feels torturous. There's no good way to go about that for a patient who can already tell that you think something is wrong, but you're not at a point where it's okay to confirm that to them yet. Where's the heartbeat? We're supposed to hear the heartbeat, aren't we? Here, let me see. Aaron. What do you see? Nothing. I, I, I mean it, I, I see nothing. I thought she was going to say no heartbeat, but she she said no fetus. That's not what I expected. I, I don't, I, I don't understand. Me you know, neither. Really makes, people sometimes miscarry without realizing it, but as far along as you are, you would have, it would have been noticeable, very noticeable. Miscarry? And, and you wouldn't have been the first person to go through something like this and maybe block it out? You must have miscarried. I didn't. Where's my baby? Yep, I have no idea how I, how I would approach that. Incredibly weird. Also an interesting premise. I don't think I've ever seen a premise like this depicted in media. Points for uniqueness. Mm. Okay, sorry to keep you waiting. Wonder if she's going to get a second opinion. I wonder if perhaps the information you've given me might not be entirely accurate. Your HCG levels are normal. Even after a miscarriage, they'd stay elevated six weeks or so. All right, I didn't have them. There um, was no, no evidence of miscarriage. The doctor's like, I'm sorry, I'm confused. Sounds like you're confused. Can we backtrack a little bit? Can you tell me again, again what's going on, please? I don't see any evidence you were pregnant at all. I had an ultrasound. I heard the heartbeat many times. I saw her move. I saw her sucking her thumb. I was pregnant. Not I was. according to your blood? I was wondering if perhaps 
we could arrange for you to speak with someone in our psych department. She thinks she has something called pseudosiasis, which is where you think you are pregnant. It's a psychological condition. You can even get actual pregnancy symptoms, and some people can even gain weight in a way that looks like they are pregnant. It can be a very, very detrimental psychiatric disorder. I think that's probably what she thinks is happening here, is that this person was suffering from that and now has convinced themselves that they had a miscarriage. These clips are from Twilight. Thirsty. Is she referencing the fetus? The fetus is thirsty? Do you call a, a vampire fetus a fetus? I don't know the answer to that. If it's craving, it's not going to want animal blood. Uh, wait, wait, wait. You're going to make her drink that? It's the fastest way to test the theory. Only if you're comfortable with it. I'll try anything. My understanding is that she's a human, because I just Googled that. Is the baby not human? And also, why would drinking it provide blood to the fetus? I, I don't know. That's not how human GI tracts work. Taste. Good. No thanks. Pass. I'll take a pass on that one. Speedy effort. Nice catch. Yeah, Carlos said the placenta must have detached. I'm not sure how they know that, but what they said is the placenta must have detached. Uh, that means she's potentially having a placental abruption, generally accompanied by bleeding in humans, but I can't, I can't speak for um, non-humans because I'm not a non-human obstetrician. Get him out now! Is he using his mouth? That is disgusting. I do not like this. For what it's worth, that blood looks super fake. They could have done a better job than that. I hope that you learned something today and I hope that you enjoyed those spooky pregnancies and birth. If you have not seen my video from a couple of years back when I made a giant IUD costume for myself, I will link that right over here. It's a great little vlog. Thank you for being here today, y'all. I will see you next Monday.